Hey, Farming Pete, it's for 12 here. Well, I've done a little work. I was wanting to try out the new tanks and see how well they worked. And I'm not all that fond of them. For one, their capacity is only 970 liters. I can beat that with this right here at 3,750 liters. And I can pull it behind a tractor or a truck. With this, I have to have either some kind of semi or a dolly to attach it to. It will attach to any of these semis, although as you can see, some of them doesn't attach very well. And it moves as you drive. They don't stay attached. They stay on there. They don't fall off, but it, you'll see it moves as you drive around. It just spins around the way it wants to. No rhyme, no reason. Doesn't stay still. And it's, it is attached, as you can see. And top left hand corner it says detach so if I push the X it'll detach it right there so now it's it's loose but now it's attached back and it's still moving so the capacity of it it's a great idea but the capacity less than a thousand liters and it doesn't even attach to the the keen plate very well I mean, it's not all that great, I don't think. I like the customization of it. I like the looks of it. But the capacity and its unstableness, I'm not fond of. The, uh, the best one it actually connects to is the man truck over there. It connects really well to those two. It connects straight. It doesn't move as you drive. So I think it was probably tested and made for these trucks, I'm guessing. Just off the top of my head. I'm not don't have a clue, I don't know, but that's what I'm guessing. Since it fits snug with this and not so much with everything else. Uh you can haul it in that little trailer I have over there. I did pick it up with that Puma, the case Puma. See, even with the uh, the dolly, it's it peters and wobbles and turns and twists, and it's not even cool. And it's just how most people is gonna drive. They're not gonna do the speed limits. They're not gonna follow all the roads. They're gonna go right across country like. Everyone else does, like I do. But on the man truck, you notice it didn't, it don't budge at all. Huh. Well, now I can't get my dolly disconnected. Because it disconnects my... Thanks. Okay, that's another glitch. Because I can't disconnect my dolly. I'm going to lose my tank. Hmm. Well, isn't that a pickle? Because now I can't even get my trailer my dolly unhooked. So, there's another problem. Another reason why I don't like it. So, I like the customization and the looks. That's pretty much it. Can't go much further than that. <laughs> That's about all it. That's about all it has. Its looks and its customization. Its price is eighty five hundred. That price is eighty five hundred. I can customize its main color. If I wanted to, I can put the wheel brand on there and the wheel setup. 
maybe. All right, that's not let me do the wheel setup. Okay. Well, it's a nice option to think we could choose. But anyway, so I've got almost quadruple the capacity for the same price. And all I have to do is have a hitch on the back of a tractor or the pickup truck. And I can pull that one. With this, I have to have the king plate or the dolly, which has a king plate, or a trailer to haul it in. And there's a caveat on that as well. A tractor big enough to actually load it or this scorpion, uh, the buffalo, I'm sorry, the posse buffalo or its liking to load it. Now I'm loading these empty and this tractor does it, but it's, it's not wanting to, even with the 3,300 pound kilogram weight on the back. So these things weigh quite a bit and these are all empty. Every one of them is empty. So that tractor being, if it's weight distribution when it's full, this tractor probably couldn't handle those at all. So you're probably going to have to have, where is it at? Oh, I love this. Gotta search for it. There it is. You're probably going to have to have either that one, which I actually showcased earlier in my, uh, mod review uh, this one would work as well uh, the buffalo would work and that's about it or a very large tractor capable of uh, having the arms and the, uh, the grapple the caveat to this you can transport this it will fit back here, and it's, it's loose. It will not tie down, but you cannot refill it at the pumps. I've already tried. You have to have it on the back of one of these before you can refill it or fill it up any at all at the, at the, at the pumps. It has to be attached to one of these. So you have to have these, one of these, to even use it. But don't attach a dolly to your vehicle here because you can't get it unattached. So now you've got two of them to fill up. As you'll see up there, I can go back and forth between the two tanks. There's my dolly. It finally let me do it. Sweet. Finally, it glitched out on me, I guess. It really glitched out because now I can't back up. Huh. I can now. This is weird. Okay. Yeah. These tanks are going to have to be repaired. I'm not too fond of these. If they was a little easier to use, I would like them a little more. If they had more of a capacity, I'd like them even a little more than that. But as of right now, I don't know. I don't know what I'd rate them as a scale of one to ten because I just really don't like them. Uh, they need some major improvement, I think. I don't even know where the gas station is. Oh, wait, down there. Good night. Go to the big map and look. I'm lost. There's a shop. Oh, well, my goodness. I was right there next to a gas station. That doesn't surprise me. Not in the least. But, fill this thing up, because I tried filling it in that trailer and it just didn't work. 
I've not tried it filling it in the truck, but I'm sure it's going to work because that's how you have to do it, I'm sure. <clears throat> if it was like a, uh, a hook truck plate, you know, you just back up to it and attach it, it loads up, that would be awesome. Because then you wouldn't have to worry about it having a tractor or whatever else to load it. You could just back up to it and it would hitch and load. But I don't see that happening. Refilling. There we go. Yep, it's refilling the tank now. Yeah, because my truck is full, and it's, the tank's empty, so it's refilling that tank. But it still doesn't help the fact that we got to have a tractor and everything else to unload this, and specialty specialty equipment. So. I think you're better off with the actual $8,500 tank uh, fuel transport trailer. That's going to work best. Just thought I'd let y'all know about that because I was, was kind of skeptical and wanting to see about these tanks and try them out and just test them. So there you have it. Hope you liked it. Thumbs up would be great. And until next time, we'll catch you later.